Hi, I'm Mike, and I'm here showing you this clean, beautiful, silky floor, and that's no thanks to this Roomba right here. You see, for those of you who live under a rock, Roombas were bots that blew up on the internet that were made to automate brooming and cleaning and to make your life a lot easier. They zoom around the house on their own will, they clean your floor, and then they return to their home where they charge and they feed themselves electricity at night. The reality is that these are $300 robotic blind cats that don't know what the hell they're doing and don't actually clean. They're utter useless machines and I wish we can burn them all. They are utter useless machines, but I am going to change that. Now I could take the time to improve the Roomba and make it better or make my own that can compete with this one and clean better, but that'd be supporting the Roomba movement and I'm not up for that. So I reinvented the Roomba to have some functionality and do the one thing it was never created to do make a mess. What do you think about this? I originally filmed a skit where I was dressed up in a suit and I had like a whole studio set up and I was going to do an infomercial where I sell this Roomba mod to you guys. But it didn't work out the way I wanted to. So instead I'm going to add a portion to these videos as I make them where I add a skill to it. So in one video I could teach you how to solder, in another video I could teach you how to wire, in another video, I can teach you uh, the basics of mechanical things and how they work. Another video, maybe today, I think I'm going to go over how 3D printers work and how to actually 3D print something that you designed yourself. Each video will have its own skill along with the entertainment value that you're getting from the fun skits and fun robots. So let's talk about the actual build here. Here's what you need to make it work. An Arduino, a servo, a battery, some cables, I opted for a power switch since programming one was annoying and buggy and didn't work, and either 5th grade level arts and crafts skills or a 3D printer. The way 3D printing works is you design or find an object you'd like to print and put it into a slicing program. These are programs that break down your design into printable steps telling the printer where to start, what temperature to use, etc. And then all you have to do is take this file called a G-code file which is pretty much instructions on literally how to print, like where it needs to go on the map. You plug that into your printer, you click print, and it will take care of the rest. As long as you give it the filament it needs, and you choose the right temperatures, you are good to go. I've had prints take from 30 minutes, all the way up to 20 hours. I'm really glad I invested in one so I can spend less time hot gluing cardboard together like a 5 year old, and take a bit more time to design something in a 3D program and print an actual prototype. Now back to the video. The idea was to have a system very similar to those candy machines where you put a quarter in and you spin the knob and it puts through a candy. There is a gear that spins and there are holes on the bottom and when the gear and the holes on the bottom are lined up like they are right now, things will fall through. But the second you rotated a couple clips, now the holes are blocked by the supports for the gear and nothing is actually going to pass through. This can virtually hold anything inside of it as long as it fits to the top here and can fit through those holes on the bottom. Once you fill it up with whatever you want, all you gotta do is just slide it into here and it will click in and now it's ready to be put into the Roomba. If you're curious with what I mean by Roomba bin, this is my 3D printed bin. Here is what the one that currently fits in the normal Roomba looks like. It's a lot bigger, it has filters inside, and if you look inside, it's actually empty because the Roomba doesn't clean at all. Now all you need to do is actually put the mod in the Roomba like you would with the normal dust clip, and now it's ready to go, your homemade Roomba mod. Now earlier I actually talked about different things I can put in here like nails, dog treats, dirt, candies, I went on with a list. And I want to go with dog treats for the sole purpose that I don't have to clean it up and that the dog will. So all we got to do is go and get our stinky dog treats. They're just like little pebbles that you give to the dog when you train them. Like this. We're just going to take a handful and throw them in our little trusty cylinder bin here. Now once you're done, all you got to do is pop it back in there. You can see she's already all over it. All I gotta do is power the power switch on to give power to the motor and we're good to go. One addition I did is I actually gave it a long wire because the battery wasn't that powerful. And there we go. It works! It's alive! Oh no, it fell out! No! 
<laughs> She's gonna get into it. Is she gonna find it? Oh, it's 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 pushing it. Dispense the treats. Dispense the treats. No, you stupid machine. Thank you for being here. I hope this was educational and some good entertainment for you. As you can see, it worked for like 10 seconds. I'm sure if I made a couple little changes, I'd fix it. But the dog is all over it, and I can imagine if I put anything else in there, like dirt, or dust, or treats, or candy, or anything like that, it would work even better. If there's any other robots you'd like to see, please go and comment them below. If you enjoyed the video, like the video. If you want to see more of these, subscribe to my channel, and subscribe for the dog here.